Hey, it's Jan. Today I'm going to take you with me into the macrocosmos that has developed in this fish tank. A couple of weeks ago I've discovered some tadpoles and I've put them into the fish tank just with a little bit of pond water and I've also added some plants from the pond as food source for the tadpoles. My goal actually was to film the process how the tadpoles becoming frogs and it actually worked pretty good. Here the first frogs are showing and practicing their first jumps. But while taking macro footage of the frogs, I've discovered that there was a huge amount of life developing in this small fish tank. So I've discovered hundreds of different species that develop and reproduce in the fish tank. They've probably lived on the water plants or maybe there were some eggs inside. I've just added another branch into the fish pond so that the frogs can move out of the water. And each time I take a closer look on what is going on inside, I discover new species. And the great thing is that you can use an ordinary macro lens like the Lauer 25 or the Sony 90 in combination with the Reynox DCR250 to take high magnification macro footage on what is going on there. And it's also very easy for you to reproduce because you just need pond water, pond plants and a fish tank and then you will probably discover the same amount of life as I did in a couple of weeks and what I'm going to share with you right now. Thank you. 
I really have discovered a lot more than you've just seen in the video. So I really recommend to subscribe if you want to see more. I really have crazy footage of really colorful animals that have developed and reproduced in the fish tank. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you want to know more about this, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and see you in the next.